Dr. Jeffrey Rutterbush as another guest again on our podcast. And uh, we had a very interesting question for him because we get that from a lot of guys in our Facebook group, TRT and Hormone Optimization. So, Dr. Jeffrey, what's your opinion, your view and your take on the use of DECA, Nandrolone, together with testosterone as an HRT for health reasons? What are the benefits, the dose, the protocol, and so on? Well, that's the easiest question ever posed to me, Stephen. Welcome to this channel. I am Dr. Steven de Vos, the lifting dermatologist, and this is my bro science hunting partner, Danny Bossa. If you want to learn more about the most cutting-edge science-based information in the world of hormone optimization, please like and subscribe. Click the bell button to get notified. I also invite you to join my other YouTube channel, The Lifting Dermatologist. The link you can find in the description of this video. Now, my, my opinion here is not based on research, based on clinical experience. Okay, call it what you want, call it anecdotal, call it 30 years of doing it. Okay, so one of the guys that trained me in hormone therapy, Dr. Edward Lichten, who's written a great book, the second edition just came out. He introduced me to the use of, uh, well, back up. Back in the day when I was a bodybuilder, I was introduced to, to, to Nandrolone as a, uh, a means to uh, get leaner and stronger and, and, and harder. As an add-on, I was he to testosterone. So my first experiences with uh, having cycles in anabolics to my exercise, I remember, I, I, had, I had weight trained for 20, 25 years on my own prior to experimenting with any PED. So pet peeve of mine, when guys come in 18, 17, 16 years old, having reached their potential in the gym yet, who want to go on PEDs at that age. That's a pet peeve of mine. I tell a young man, just go in, you know, sleep right eat right, train hard for a few years first, okay? See if you want to stick with it that long. Okay, so back to your question. First cycle of uh, PEDs, testosterone, A-bombs, and nandrolone. Uh, eight to 10 week cycle, I don't recall. But I gained 40 pounds. 40 pounds. Squat went through the roof, bench went through the roof. I go, whoa. Well, that's pretty impressive. And I felt great. So, uh, for 20 years, Stephen, 20, well, almost 20, I never had blood work. I never saw a doctor except for what I had to, and I didn't know what the hell I was on. <laughs> they just the routine blood work. But, you know, thank God my h &H was fine, everything's fine. But for almost 20 years, Massive doses of testosterone, massive doses of decadurabol, and only did the a, only did the eight bombs for one cycle though. But for for I ran deca deca and testosterone, and or trenbolone. I consider trenbolone and deca very similar. Um, for and and, and uh, no cycle is off, not cycle. I, ten, Fifteen to twenty years, you know, six eight hundred milligrams of testosterone a week. Two to four hundred megs of, of, of nandrol on a week for fifteen to twenty years. Stephen never had deca dick, ever. Um, felt great. I felt confident, and I, I believe it was in the prime of my life. Anyhow, so back to nandrol. Doctor Edward Lichten, friend of mine was the first doctor I worked with or taught me that that nandrolone has a place in anti-aging medicine. It was his favorite hormone to go to for older men who, like guys who are over 55 in general, who had two things. IRS, HBG, and arthritic pain. But as a man ages, he's going to have some arthritis. And usually, as a man ages, usually the SHBG goes up, right? Part of the aging process. So, Dr. Edward, Edward Lichten introduced me to Nandrolone. And, of course, I thought, hmm, I was using that for a long time. I know of its anti, 
uh, inflammatory effects because when I was doing those high doses, my recovery time was one day. My DOMS was virtually non-existent. DOMS, you know, delayed onset muscle soreness. Um, and my joint pain was virtually nothing. Um, so it wasn't until, to be honest with you, that I got off the DECA and went to basically physiological doses of testosterone. In other words, I was no longer super physiological. I was physiological, right? No more, no more nandrolone because it wasn't considered a bioidentical hormone. It wasn't, you know, I figured, well, you know, as an orthomolecular uh, physician, I, I want to be, I want to take hormones that are in my body, you know, made by the human body. So I no longer ran any deck. I got to tell you, within five years of being off DECA, I had to have my shoulders replaced. The arthritis got so bad in my shoulder. These are fake joints. So I think there's a multiple causation of effects that resulted in my having to have total shoulder replacement surgery um, in my mid 50s. So, you know, I, 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 there was a lot of things. I was a sports med doc. I worked with the surgeon. They were always injecting my shoulder with cortisol. Hey, doc, you got pain. You're not here. Inject your shoulder, you know. I didn't know then that, oh, geez, you can only have a couple of those because it's going to pulverize your joints. But I also think because I was no longer running DECA, I, I lost the anti inflammatory uh, effect of that great compound. Now, so let's talk about men on top. Uh, I, I recommend, I do currently recommend getting reconnected now with uh, Dr. Uh, Edward Lip Lichten up there in um, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. It went off the market in 2007 in here in the States. So you couldn't get it. But now there are some company pharmacies that are making it as per the request of Doc. So I, I frequently uh, add oh, you know, upwards of uh, 70 to 100 milligrams a week of test. Uh, sorry, decadurabolin to a man, an aged man that has osteoarthritic changes uh, to quash some of the inflammatory pains. Um, now, it's dose dependent, Steve. I'll tell you right now. I mean, if a guy's got a lot of pain, is he going to get the same relief uh, at 70 to 80 megs a week as he, as he would be doing 200 to 300 megs a week? No, I don't know. He's going to have a lot more anti-inflammatory uh, relief, pain relief of the higher doses of DECA, but so I just, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to condone that higher dose with, uh, with, with tea, with cod, uh, but it's a great, great, great substance for, for um, uh, anti-inflammation. Tremendous substance. Um, so, in the bottom line, that's, that's, I've done no research on it, but Dr. Edward Lipton has, and he's got a lot of clinical experience with the use of nandrolone in aged men for the anti-inflammatory uh, properties. It's gaining recognition again now as more and more doctors are bringing it back into their armamentarium. Uh, there are some compounding pharmacists now that are offering it. So yeah, I, I always recommend it. So here's my point. So you got a guy on 100, mg, 100 milligrams of uh, testosterone a week. Uh, I would recommend that person add 50 to 100 milligrams of DECA. The guy's on 200 milligrams of uh, testosterone a week. I would definitely recommend 100 added milligrams. So you got now your total dose is what 300, right? 200 of testosterone, 100 of, of, of nandrolone. So I'm trying to recommend at least my older guys with osteoarthritic changes that we I, I add a nandrolone to their regimen. And so far. The outcomes have been promised. Okay. Uh, are there any extra uh, problems with estrogen or prolactin? No, I, I have at those doses. Now, remember, when I was running super physiological doses, I wasn't doing blood. So, um, but I had no erectile uh, dysfunction. I had no 
you know, no sense of, no sense of nipple. I had nothing going, no, no breast body. My, my prolactin wasn't an issue. But so far, in, in the few men that I've reintroduced uh, Nandrolone to, no, I've had no problems with it uh, influencing uh, on function to estrogen or prolactin. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that was a very concise, clear answer. And a lot of them in uh, our group and uh, people, men watching on uh, YouTube will be interested in hearing your answer. So. Thanks again, Dr. Jeffrey Rutterbush. All right, Stephen. See you next Have time. Have a good evening. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.